Hi traders, I just made over $3,000 day trading stocks in less than one hour. Let me show you how. I like IRBT, it's up 16% and that means everybody is watching it. It looks great. I'm getting ready to go long at this reversal around here. I'm going to go long 2,000 shares, a big mover. I'm risking a little bit more than a point, I guess. And um, I'm just waiting for this confirmation here now. Okay, I'm long. Took 3,000 shares, taking a bit of a risk. The highs is 84, that's a whole number. I need to see it coming over the highs. And she does, and she does, great. Here she comes. Now, I do expect it uh, to move a minimum of $1. I need more than $1. I was risking more than $1. Small pullback, nothing wrong. The highs now is 84.50. I must see it over the highs. The highs is approximately one point. Bought it at 83.56. Here we go. And we have a new high. Getting ready for a partial. Any pullback now? Now. Took my partial. 1.3 points. Great trade in IRBT. I like an XPI on the short side. If it's going to move under 97.80, I'm going to short it. 4,000 shares. That's a nice reversal. The stock is down 2.7%. It's getting close. Watch the sellers and watch the buyers. The buyers should go down under 97.80. Then I'm going to click the button now. Well, I chased it down a little bit. I chased it down a little bit. I got it at uh, 97.53. But it's a big mover. It shouldn't be a problem. I need to see it breaking down under the lows. That's 97.50. Oh, that's a bad pullback. But so far hasn't done anything wrong. It should come down to the lows. It's going to move over 98 again. I'm going to be in trouble. Again, watch the buyers and watch the sellers. You don't want to see the sellers moving over. Oh, they just did move over 98. I'm getting ready to close this trade. It's going to move over 98.40 now. Unpleasant loser in NXPI. Change direction. Wasn't expecting that. GM is down 6% today. That's a nice technical reversal. I'm a little bit worried about GM because it's a big company and everybody loves it. That means that a lot of people are buying GM when it's down 6%. And investors of the sort and so on are about to short. Shorting now. But I won't let it uh, go the wrong side too much if it does. So I'm a little bit cautious. I would rather go long GM than short GM. Again, it's a very well-known company. People love to buy it when it's down. So far, it looks good. I was expecting to see it moving down a little bit faster, but it's kind of okay. Stop should be around 37.20. But I'm not sure I'm going to let it move that much if it's going to go higher. Well, it's holding here for too long. It's holding here for too long. I don't like that. I'm getting ready to close this trade. Oh, this is bad. Well, closing now. Small loser in GM. I don't trust it to come down. OC is down 12%. Look at this very nice bear flag formation here. I really like it. I'm about to short. Just came down on the 57. I wasn't sure about doing so, but okay. Shorting now. Just 4 cents under. Still is a nice bear flag. Well, I didn't like GM for a short earlier. If it's going to move up, since it's consolidating here, I'm going to go long. Somewhere around 37.15. It's getting there. Wow, just moved over 20. I think it wants to go up. I'm buying. I'm long GM. OC did not really break down, but look at this amazing breakdown formation under 57. I'm going to add another 2,000 shares now. Just broke under. It's consolidated for a long, long time here. 
and finally did come down I think it's going to come down strong GM well <laughs> my second trade is down it is coming down it took it a while I'm not going to take another trade I'm out just had a stop and um, my day doesn't look so good so far as you can see I'm down $3,700 TUP looks great. That's a nice reversal here, which I would like to short. It failed to move higher, as you can see this green candle over there. And I'm looking for a bit more confirmation here to short it. Stock is down 13%. Shorting now. Just shorted 4,000 shares TUP. Tupi is doing great. I'm about to cover. Covering. Okay. Still red for the day, but looks much better. Well, finally OC made it. Finally OC made it and it continues. Look at this breakdown here. That's a very nice continuation. And at any pullback now, I'm getting ready to cover. Okay, covered here. Well, that's a second good trade. OC, TUP, just moved to green territory. Things are looking much, much better now. Up $2,000. BEIPO. Finally, we have a valid IPO. And what does a valid IPO means? Well, Stock just came out. This is the first one minute candle that you're seeing here. The volume is great, 2 million shares. We always look for at least 1 million shares during the first one or two minutes and we have that in BE. Also, one more important thing, watch the fact that it's up 23%. So you want the people who got it at the IPO price to be happy. You don't want weekends. You don't want people to start selling once this stock comes out at the IPO. People are taking a huge risk buying an IPO. So you want them to be happy. You don't want to have weekends. So the stock is up 25% now. It's moving to the highs. I don't want to see it moving over the highs. It's 1890 because the next rule, other than the volume and other than the fact that it's up 25% significantly over the IPO price, is that you want to buy it over the first five minute candle and it just moved over the highs, which is not good. But it's just topped at the $19 whole number, which is good unless it goes over it once more. Okay, that's the fourth minute candle now. It's holding below the $19 and I'm getting ready to go long. So everything is according to the IPU rules. rules. And here she comes, getting ready to go long once she moves over $19. Didn't yet. I love the fact that it's a whole number. Whole number means it's going to run over. I'm going to try to buy it at the whole number because once it's going to go through, it's going to go through fast. A lot of sellers at whole numbers. I'm getting ready to buy. I'm watching the buyers and the sellers trying to figure out where I can click the button. I'm not going to buy it at 19, I'm not sure I can get it at all. Love the fact that it just came down. That means it now. Did I get it 19? I think I did. Yes, I did. Nice breakout. Okay, IPO rules, just like I mentioned. You want to see it uh, over the IPO price. You want to see more than 1 million shares. Right now we have 4 million shares. I'm getting ready for my partial real soon. I was risking approximately 30 cents. I would love to get 30 cents. I have 30 cents now. Over 30 cents now. About to click the button at any pullback. Getting a little bit worried here. Now. Took just over 30 cents. Lovely IPO trade. Miss these ones. We used to have a lot of them in the past. And here's how my trading room members are doing. As you can see, Peter's up 5k. Uh, we've got other traders here who are up uh, 
$600, $580. There are some losers too, but we all trade together and we all try our best. And here's how I'm doing. Uh, I just had a great trade in BE, two losers in GM, as you can see here, IRBT, an unpleasant loser in NXPI earlier, but uh, the end result is great because I came down from a 3,000 loss to a 3,000 gain. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.